What's up everybody, D'Angelo here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I wanted to make this video for my newbies out there on how to get approved for any CPA network. So we're gonna go over everything there is to know about CPA networks, the good and the bad, the different types there are, literally everything. So that way after watching this video, you'll be able to get into private networks, you know, uh, watch them say get into private networks, but you'll know how to get into private networks, public networks, those what you will be able to get into, the instant approval referral ones, everything. All right. Now, first things first, for my people out there that were worried about the Team D'Angelo version 2 page. So this is a temporary page. The site will be up and running in six days. Um, the site, well, this temporary landing page is now up. I know you guys were hitting me up about it yesterday because I forgot to turn off the coming soon page. So no one saw this page, just went straight to the coming soon page. Completely forgot uh, to turn the little coming soon page off or whatever. But now it's up and running. You guys can check that out and get all that information over there. But first things first, we got to jump into um, the types of networks. All right. So first things first, you know, we got the bottom tier one. Obviously, you're going to go from low to high or whatnot. And these are the, the easiest ones to get into, and that's because there's no application. Well, there's an application to fill out, but there is no screening process. All right, so these are going to be your CPA leads, your uh, CPA grip, you know, stuff like that, right? Now, it sounds really good on paper, like, oh, great, I don't have to approve my income. Um, I don't have to, you know, fill out a super long form. I don't have to go over how I'm going to be promoting, like, nothing. It sounds great. Now, the downside to that is that most of these networks have nothing but garbage ass offers on them. Because, again, who wants to do that? Like, no one, no advertiser is going to want to put their uh, good CPA offers on a network that does not vent. They don't. They don't um, do anything. It's just literally anyone that signs up can make an account. So yeah, you wouldn't want just anyone promoting your stuff, like because they can send garbage traffic. The whole nine yards. So you just no really, really, really good offers are on there. Now I'm not saying you can't make money with these networks by any means. You can still make money with these networks, but if you want, you know, like loan offers, trial offers, you're never going to find that on those type of networks. All right. But yeah, that's the good thing about them, though. They're instant approval. You get what you I would say what you pay for, but, you know, you get what you get. All right. Now, next step up is going to be your public networks. Now, these are going to be your shave bounty, a.k.a. trash bounty, you know, a.k.a. the actual name is Max Bounty or whatnot. But you're going to have those, your never blues, your X, Y, sevens, you know, stuff like that. You're going to have your public networks and this is the public network because literally anybody can get approved from these you don't need to buy a course you don't need to do anything along those lines literally anyone can get approved for these type of networks all right now the downside to these networks is that you get shaved really bad like super heavy like there's a reason why they call max bounty you know shave bounty as a nickname or whatnot like they shave heavy over there so like let's say you get like one out of ten of your um, conversion so that means every ten thousand dollars you actually make you only get one thousand dollars of it yes when I say the shaving is bad on network on these public networks it is extremely bad so obviously what you want to do is you know you just got to run um, some uh, run with through these uh, through these networks or whatnot until you have enough money saved up to be able to get a course or enough history built up to where you can go to a private network but we'll touch base on that in a second here all right, and then you got your referral based networks. Now, this one is pretty much the exact same thing as the public network. Like the whole process is the same. You have to, you know, do a little phone call. You still have to fill out the form. You still have to explain how you're going to promote stuff like that. But um, when it comes to referral based network, you actually have to have someone in the network give you a link. And without this link, you can't even apply to the network. And if you're have making enough money to where you can just message the network directly and be like, hey, can you um you know give me an account? Odds are you aren't going to want to be in those networks. You're gonna to want to be in a private network. So yeah, kind of sucks, but that's kind of how it goes. Now the reason why it sucks is because no one wants to give you a referral link. And the reason they don't want to give you a referral link is because if you promote, you know, send bad quality traffic, their account can get shut down just because they referred you. So it's just not even worth it to them to make an extra 5% or however much it is, um, you know, for, for them or whatever. I mean, however much it is for the particular network that they give out per referral. But yeah, it's, not, it's just not even worth it, all right? So that is 
pretty much it on those two. Like I said, they're pretty much the exact same thing. With the public networks, again, you're going to have to fill out a form. You're going to have to you know, do a phone call if you're going over to Max Bounty. And again, the phone call is extremely easy too. All you have to do is pretty much say you don't use Facebook groups and you don't use Craigslist. Not difficult in the slightest to get approved. Like 90% of the affiliates over there or the affiliate managers, I should say, don't even, like have never even ran campaigns. They were never affiliates to begin with. They just are friends of the, the person who own it or something, I don't know. But yeah, most of them, they have no experience in marketing, which is why they can never give you any real advice. They can always just tell you, oh, well, you know, they just tell you stuff that other affiliates are doing, right? And that's another downside about being on these public networks is that they give out your campaigns, they steal your, um, your leads, your, you know, they shave your conversions. They do, they do a lot of dirty shit on these networks, you know, but yeah, that's kind of the, it's kind of just the stuff you got to go through when it comes to um, being in these public networks. Obviously, like I always say, make as much money as you can on these public networks. Get the history, you know, or just save up enough money from these public networks to be able to buy a course of a super affiliate and get into uh, the private network where you don't have to worry about getting shaved. Now, that brings us to the private networks. Now, private networks are normally owned by a super affiliate that got tired of all the shit that they do on these networks. So they're like, you know what? Why am I going to keep sending you tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, or millions of dollars per year? And I'm just getting shaved super hard. Like, why the hell am I going to do that? It's not even worth doing that in the slightest. So they create their own network then they build out a course. So, you know, they're already making money. And they're like, okay, I can teach other people how to make money. Then they create the, uh, the course. Then they make the network where it doesn't, they don't have to worry about shaving or whatnot. And then that's it. So if you get this course, you're guaranteed, like it's like being blessed into the CPA network. They know you're going to be promoting, right? And everything's going to be good. Now, most of these courses will cost anywhere between $1,000 to like seven, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000. Like, but let's just say the average is five grand uh, for these courses. Now, if someone is willing to pay $1,000, $5,000 for a course, odds are they're pretty serious about making money. It's not like this course costs $25, $50, $100. Like, it's $1,000. For some people, that's an entire month's income. If you're willing to invest an entire month's income, you know, you're pretty goddamn serious. You know, even if you're doing well off, that's one third of the, um, the uh, income for somebody again you gotta be serious like you're, you're serious as hell if you're paying one thousand to five thousand dollars for a course so that person knows okay yeah this person's gonna be great they're gonna follow the training they're gonna listen they're gonna do all that stuff because they're willing to invest now again somebody who spent twenty five dollars if you're in the united states i mean you got people who are homeless who spend more than that shit on on liquor every week like i mean come on now like you're, you're not serious now i'm not saying anything bad you might not just be at the level you might just be getting started out but that's just how they're going to view like okay you're just not serious all right but yeah you got to get the course or you have to be making a certain amount of money so this again is going to be your your oryx network and it's going to be your a1 revenue you know and there's a bunch of other ones and whatnot but for a1 revenue for they didn't change it last time i checked you have to be making ten thousand dollars per month consistently for six months for you to be approved without buying the course so yeah, it's kind of kind of serious out here. And then you guys know for the Orange Network, you know you're guaranteed a spot for a C, uh, if you're a CPA um, level two member, which is now a thousand dollars. So yeah, it's um it gets up there, guys. But again, when you don't have to worry about getting shaved, it's just all worth it. But yeah, when oh, did I even explain the shaving part? I don't even remember. But just quick recap, if I did explain it, the shaving is basically where a network will take. Your money from you so let's say you get oh yeah I did huh yes I like so yeah just quick recap in you get one out of ten of your leads every ten thousand dollars you make you're gonna get one thousand of it right and if you go to a private network you're gonna get ten out of ten of your leads which means you're gonna make instead of that one thousand you're gonna make ten thousand so you're literally gonna be making ten times more however much money more uh, depending on which no you know, um, network you're running on and how much they shave you of course but basically in a private network, you make all your money versus being in a public network and they steal your money. Now, how do you actually get approved for these networks? So just about every single, uh, well, yeah, every CPA network is going to have this form here, right? They're going to have your name, your email address, your, what you want your account to be, your address, you know, all that fun stuff, right? Your Skype, whatever. 
But the only things that really matter on here is how you plan to drive traffic. Now, they'll be worded a little different on each one, but how you plan to drive traffic, this is how you get into the network. Everything else, hmm, it's what else. I mean, but this right here, this is not like this is how you get into when you scroll in through the um, through the um, application of the person is scrolling through the application. They might look at your country. But, you know, this right here, this is it. How do you plan to drive traffic? That's it. That's the only thing that truly matters on this uh, entire application for everyone is how you plan on driving traffic. I know some people be like, oh, you know, it really depends on your email address. Use a, a no call it your own domain for one that doesn't fucking matter in the slightest if you make five thousand dollars a month and you can prove you make five thousand dollars a month they are not going to care if you have a goddamn gmail account for i mean a gmail email address does that doesn't matter all right but this right here how do you plan to drive traffic now when it comes to the instant approval again you can literally just fill this form out and both you get instantly approved doesn't matter when it comes to the public networks you have to put in a little bit more work Right, so if you come in and you just type in Facebook ads, Google ads, native ads, stuff like that, expect to be denied. This is in 2017. You gotta actually put in a little bit, got you know, gotta put in a little bit more work. Right? If you're gonna say you're doing Facebook ads, explain what type of you know ads you're currently running over on Facebook, you know. Um, show a landing page that you're, I mean, not a landing page, but a fan page that you're using over there. Maybe it got a couple thousand likes over there. You know, basically show some type of effort, show some initiative. If you just type just Facebook ads, anybody can just come and say that. No, they don't know you, right? Like they don't know if you are, you might be someone who's actually making five or $10,000 a month or whatever, but I don't know that. You didn't show me any proof, instant deny. Boom, you got denied just like that. Put in some work on the application, right? Actually, actually show that you want to be approved. Again, if you're putting Facebook ads, how? What are you running over on Facebook? You know, are you currently running CPA offers? Are I mean, uh, CPA leads? Are you getting sales? Like, do you have an email follow? I mean, uh, email list. Like, explain what are you doing? So a lot of people come in and just put an email list. I have a list of uh, of twenty thousand people. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. For all of, for all I know, you could have went over to Fiverr and bought some garbage ass emails list for five dollars. I don't know, right? But if you come in and say, yeah, I got an email list of twenty thousand people that I've built up using Facebook ads, then you show like a screenshot of you spending like five grand over on um, on Facebook. That makes sense. Okay, now that okay, now we get in somewhere. Now there's way likely chance of you being approved just because you said you know versus just saying email list or twenty thousand email lists. You show that you spent some money, where the leads were coming from. You told me everything I needed to know about how you built the list up. So now we get now we are getting somewhere versus again just putting in email list, twenty thousand email lists. Like you gotta actually. Put in some goddamn effort. Again, if you just type in Facebook ads, native ads, like just start listing off like different types of traffic, like you're not gonna get approved. Why the fuck would you be approved? They, that doesn't tell me anything. Anybody can just type in Facebook ads. Like you gotta actually sound like you know what you're talking about. All right. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much it on the public networks. Cause like I said, it's not difficult to get in at all. If you're doing max bounty or whatnot and all you have to say on the phone is no i don't use craigslist and no i don't use facebook groups i use facebook ads i only use paid advertising boom just like that you got approved it's not difficult you just have to sound like you know what you're talking about all right now when it comes to the private networks yeah when it comes to the private networks like i said before you have to actually have bought the course there's really no way around it all right or you have to be making a certain amount of money all right, so let's say you're making five to ten thousand dollars a month, and then you just start putting in your, you just go to, um, I think it's image or something like that. But you guys, I'm sure you guys can do a simple Google search and figure it out. But you basically will upload an image, then you would take the URL to that image, paste it into this right here. So that person, whoever reviews the application, can go through, copy that URL, and paste it into um, their URL into their browser and just see whatever the screenshot was. So you can show your. Um, Let's say you're over on Shave Bounty or whatnot, and you want to get into a private network. You can be like, hey, look, I've been over here. You know, this is how much money I've made in the last 30 days. This is how much money I've made in the last 
three months or whatever the case may be. Like, I'm tired of getting shaved over here. I'm really looking to move up and get into a better network. You know, all that type of stuff to just start putting in. Okay, now we're getting somewhere versus, again, you just putting in, I make five to $10,000 a month. I use Facebook ads. I use Google ads. I use native advertising. Again, you're not you're never gonna get approved doing that shit. I mean, you might get an audience, you know, and get an application, or you might have someone follow up with you or whatnot, depending on who's reviewing the account, and then from there you might get approved if you know how to talk. But if you go in and you say something like, Oh, I use Google, I use uh Craigslist, boom, instant deny. I use Facebook groups, mm, instant deny. I use Pico Workers, boom, instant deny. Like you never want to say anything like that because this isn't an instant approval network where there isn't any bidding. There's a reason why there's an application. They want to make sure that you know how to promote. And if you sound like you don't know how to promote, you're just going to get denied. And it's not like the app, the CPA network needs you or anything along those lines. Like legit, especially if you're going to um, over on Max Bounty, as much as I talk shit about them or whatever, they have thousands of thousands of affiliates over there. Like they don't give a damn. They can cut off, you know, several affili affiliates just like that. No problem. Deny, 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 deny. They don't care. They're already at the level to where it doesn't even fucking matter. And then um, private networks, they don't care either. Because, I mean, there's going to be people who are, you know, they go for quality over quantity. Like the Max Bounty, PureFly. I mean, I'm not PureFly. They don't got shut down. They, is it back up? I should check, check on that. But anyway, yeah. When it comes to those networks, those are the people that's going for, um, they're going for like that mid-range. You know, and then the instant approval, they don't care. You can be a complete beginner, newbie, whatever. But yeah, guys. Like I said, the only thing that matters on this whole goddamn application is how you plan to drive traffic and just put in some effort. Like literally just put it in. Like normally I would type out something and then like have you guys um, just copy that, but that won't work because I mean, if everyone starts sending the exact same thing, you know, the, cause like people don't even like model it. They just copy it word for word and paste it in there and you're like, oh, okay, they must be watching a YouTube video. So anybody who types that in, boom, you get denied. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Um, if you got any questions, put them in the comment section down below. But like I said, guys, it is extremely easy to get approved for damn near any network. Again, instant approval, you get approved instantly. Public networks, put in some goddamn work on the application. The main part is how you plan to drive traffic. And the private networks, buy the course or just wait until you have enough um, payment history to basically get into that network. But, again, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, subscribe.